let's talk a little bit about the science of what actually happens to light when it hits a surface. So let's say we have a surface, a ball, and light is cast on it, right? We've got, say, a sunlight or a spotlight, something. When light hits the surface of that ball, some of that light will get absorbed into the ball. That turns into heat. Some of that light will reflect directly back. This is your reflection. And some of that light will scatter. The light that's scattered, that's actually your color or your base color. As your surface gets more rough, more of this color shows up and less of this reflection. Light is similar to a bouncy ball. If you drop it on a surface and the surface is flat, it bounces yes. straight back up. So that becomes, you know, if the surface is smooth, then it be it's a reflective surface. Let's say that surface is jaggedy, it's rocky, then the ball drops. Where does it bounce? Anywhere. Yeah, some random angle, right? That means that the surface is rough. So the rougher our surface is, the less reflective it is. Uh, so that's why we have roughness. Here's where it gets a little bit weird. We have to have a specific channel that defines whether or not a surface is metallic because metals react to light differently than non-metals do. I'm gonna add a uh, uniform color again here. It's just straight black or white. If it's black, it means it's not a metal. If it's white, it means it is a metal, right? So I'm gonna set it to zero and plug it into metallic. Notice nothing's changed, right? This is a non-metal. As I drag this up, Notice what happened to the surface. Now this surface is a metal.